Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watch Want and thanks for logging on. Today we're looking at the Girard Perigo R&D01 Pour LP 43mm black DLC over stainless steel. This is one of 250 made in a very special limited edition constructed in 2007 expressly for one Laurent Picciotto, better known as the founder and owner of renowned Paris high horology boutique Chrono Passion. Now, while Chrono Passion has had a number of expressly designed, expressly issued, limited editions in its name, this one's a little bit more discreet about its intended customer. And you can see poor LP on the back, the only clue as to who the intended recipient of this watch was. And that's fitting with the stealthy, almost stealth bomber, Darth Vader-esque aesthetic of this r and one limited edition chronograph. You can see on the wrist, the watch is an ergonomic triumph, but visually, it makes its presence known. Now, it's very flat. For a watch this big, with this much complication, and an automatic winding system, it sits exceptionally close to the skin. Nestled down with a curved bezel and a curved sapphire, this would fit easily under a dress cuff. I think it would look really good with a sport jacket, because it's definitely of that sensibility. Now, the case itself features unusual shapes not just around the lug at four o'clock with that unusual bi-directional bezel setting crown, and that's right, that crown is for setting the bezel, but also in the reverse positioning of the chronograph controls and the crown itself. Now, I'll get to those and their function in a moment, but I want to continue on the fit before I segue to looks and features. You can see that this natural rubber vulcanized strap fits very closely to the wrist. It's an excellent companion to the watch, visually and ergonomically. Now my wrist is six and a third inches, 16 centimeters. You can see that the watch with the strap flaring out a little bit is probably at its lower limit in terms of fit. On my wrist, 16 centimeters in circumference, that's probably as small as you'd want to get to wear this watch securely. Although comfort is undoubted because of the shape of the lugs and the quality of the strap. Now moving on to the clasp itself. Girard Perigo is a true manufacturer and they make every part of the watch. That includes the case, the bezel, the movement, but also their bracelets and their clasps. And this is a double deployant with a beautiful contrasting high polish on the inside. And of course, that DLC stainless steel on the outside. Beautiful to look at, and with the twin trigger release, very secure. Closes with a satisfying snap, opens only when you press both of the triggers at the same time. That's the mark of quality. Now the watch itself, from an ergonomic standpoint, is more than just a comfortable fit, a superb strap, and a robust clasp. And I want to put it back on the wrist now to just show you how the ergonomics of this watch play out in the actual use of the functions. Now the chronograph is left-handed. That's not because this is a lefty's watch. It's because Gerard Perigo, designing the R&D01 model for race car drivers and race fans, or even members of pit teams, understood that your thumb is a better tool for actuating chronograph pushers than your pointer finger. So this watch is an inverted chronograph in addition to being reversed, which means that you start and stop the chronograph seconds hand, minutes hand. Yes, it does have a center minutes register using this button right here. So now it stops without stagger because it is a vertical clutch chronograph. I want to reset, watch that minute hand because that's the most unconventional feature of the chronograph resets precisely to the index at 12 every time. That's the advantage of the Dubois de Praz vertical clutch chronograph used in this R&D01. They are the specialists in chronograph technology and they were one of the pioneers of the vertical clutch in the modular chronographs. So you're getting a lot of high horology engineering in here. Other features of the watch include this crown guard, which is out of the way and protects a crown dedicated to the internal bi-directional bezel. Now, it's designed to evoke the look of a racing car's intake stack, and I'll show you a little bit more of that. From this angle, it becomes more apparent that this is designed to ape an intake on a Formula One race car, and you can see the pusher corrector for the date at 6 o'clock right there. That's what that's doing, and that's the intent of that recess made practical as a shield to the pusher for the date. The crown gives you a little bit of a extra chronograph, a, a little bit more of an analog chronograph, so to speak, or a purely mechanical one, I should say. You just line it up, line up the index with the minute hand, and now you can time an interval between 1 and 60 minutes at the same time as you're running the chronograph itself. So if you want to time 
two separate events, you can do that simultaneously with this R&D01 chronograph. It also has the advantage of being able to be screwed back in so that it can be absolutely secure. Now nothing can accidentally displace that bezel and alter your timing of that second event off the minute's hand. A nice feature of the watch, in addition to its complication, is how the complication is rendered aesthetically. I really like the fact that Gerard Perigo took pains to balance all of the subdials with opposing subdials. It's, it has a beautiful bilateral vertical symmetry to it that's balanced and gorgeous, and yet it doesn't in any way impede the legibility of the watch. I really like the fact that at a glance, day or night, I can tell what time it is. Despite the massive information available to me, it's exceptionally legible. And with the chronograph seconds and minutes being read radially off the center hands, I only occasionally have to resort to the chronograph hours at 12. So the most important information, the time of day and the chronograph seconds and minutes can be read in an instant. I also want to emphasize that the watch features a 24-hour indicator for those 24-hour races. Whether you're in the pits as a member of the team, driving the car, or just a fan trying to remember when you know Fox Sports 2's coverage of the 24 Hours of Le Mans comes back on, that 24-hour indicator is quite useful. Now I want to show you, when I talk about the legibility of this watch, day or night, just how fully and brilliantly loomed this R&D01 is. Bear with me for a moment, because I'm going to do something unconventional that I, I don't believe I've ever done on the channel. I'm going to try to give you a bit of a loom shot. Let me charge it up and bring it back. Okay, loom shot beta. Let's see how it works. Yeah, you can definitely see it. There's no doubt. This thing glows like a torch, and I've got light streaming in the window next to me. The bottom line is this Gerard Perigo R&D01 casts an imposing profile, day or night. Legible as a time-telling device, supremely useful as a chronograph, it incorporates a lot of original thinking in its ergonomics, in the layout of its controls, in the layout of its dial, in the information available and how it's portrayed. But let's not forget that Gerard Perigo, being a true manufacturer, builds its movements. And what you're looking at here is the Gerard Perigo caliber 033CO, in-house the 3000 series bout at Basel World 1991, and it was really the foundation of Gerard Perigo's burgeoning reputation as a true manufacturer. Prior to that, they would built some in-house stuff for their high horology pieces, but base movements generally never. They would confined themselves to winding systems with the Gyromax system, but the 3000 series changed everything. Used by everyone from Harry Winston to Vacheron Constantin. It's a true high horology piece. Thin, fine, and beautifully decorated. You can see the linear Cote de Genève on the winding rotor, on the bridges of the winding system, a very tight and elaborate perlage on the base plate itself. Now there is a sort of radial graining on the mainspring barrel, as well as a circular brushing on all the wheels when you can see them. It's a beautifully finished movement with cobalt heat blued screws and tremendous detailing. There's straight grained brushing on the regulator. It's just a gorgeous movement, very thin, unidirectional winding for exceptional efficiency and a modern 4 hertz or 28,800 vibration per hour beat rate. 52 joules with a 46 hour power reserve. It is the heart and soul of every R&D01 chronograph, including this Poor LP limited edition of 250. Now this watch reference 49930 is one of a series of R&D 01s built by Gerard Perigo during the mid 2000s, but as one of only 250 made in the Poor LP series, it has a completely unique look. Again, this is what Darth Vader would wear. This thing is all black, beautifully integrated, and unlike many watches which deviate from the original design vision, this watch was originally designed in brushed and polished stainless steel, this one actually looks more imposing, more of a piece, more of a fully realized design, not by a committee but by an individual artist. This actually takes the R&D to a level it had never been before. Previously technically fascinating and respectable from an aesthetic standpoint, this watch is downright menacing. And which is why I feel that this poor LP limited edition of 250 
is among the very best of Gerard Perigo's 2000s decade chronographs, a very memorable reference from a true manufacturer. It succeeds on every level. While it may not be the one to wear with a tuxedo, if you love motorsports, sports watches, or just technically fascinating timepieces, this Gerard Perigo R&D01 Poor LP Limited Edition of 250 just may be the watch you want.